Action! Hi guys and welcome to another Mario Brothers production. Today we're touring a fantastic home in Zagaleta. Now for those who always say, what's the drive-in like? Well, here you have seen it. You have a complete roundabout with a stunning old olive tree in the center, two car ports right up here. And of course, when you go down the slope there, Patrick, you have a garage for at least three to four cars. Let's quickly show them what I mean. You will see more of it later. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mauro Brothers. It's going to be our pleasure to show you this home. Seven bedrooms en suite, 1,300 square meters built and an entrance for a king that sits on a plot of 5,500 square meters and this beauty. But before I say too much, Patrick, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the drunk shots. Let's go. I'm loving this. You have a white and black on each side, which really gives a feeling of yin and yang. And now, Patrick, transit window, side windows, picture windows. You get so much light coming in from this side of the house. And of course, you've seen it in the drone shots when we flew through the house, how impressive the entry really is. You have an iron staircase on both sides here and there. And to be quite honest, I always imagine when you invite guests, you'd be standing up there and you'd be greeting them like this. Good day, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Now, Patrick, wait. Really cool light features throughout the entire house. We're gonna be speaking more about it at a later stage. And now, living room, let's go. This is the formal living room. It's really big. And right in the center of it, you have various couch options from where you sit and you look at that view that you've seen in the drone shots. And if you have seen it, ladies and gentlemen, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now from there, Patrick, really quickly, three bedrooms upstairs, two bedrooms on this level and two bedrooms in the basement, making a total of seven bedrooms in this house on 1,300 square meters of built area now let's move on from here a divisional wall with a fireplace the first plasma that we are counting in our plasma count in this property tour let's continue dining area dining area what i personally very much like it looks very rich very opulent this entire house has an opulent taste to it now patrick also from here you have the rolling mountains outside of your window and of course a picture window bringing more light in in the entire dining area a false double height ceiling here with embedded lighting systems and plasma number two we're talking about fur dink and massive tvs here so someone really likes to watch us on these big screens the mauer brothers now let's continue real quick I would say, Patrick, we start with the two bedrooms and then we head back over to the kitchen. So, kitchen, dining area, and two bedrooms. Let's go. Here, we have two bedrooms, one to the right, one to the left. I'm gonna start with this one. Now, every bedroom is generous in size, I think, this could easily be the master or the, yeah, the master suite of this floor because it's so enormous. And Patrick, I'm a massive fan of wallpaper. Patrick knows it. Maybe you guys do as well if you have seen every 
property tour video we've done now it's 26 of them wallpaper just adds so much character and a feeling of warmth into a room and of course we here have the closet we have a lot of space and led lights that pop up again with this nice wood feature patrick plasma number three correct ladies and gentlemen plasma number three from here if you don't want to look at anything on the television you also have this picture window giving you that view outwards superb i'm patrick every bathroom in this house is just insanely beautiful let's check this one out first now patrick the obvious you can see your vanity sink here you have these mirrors that make you look very smart with backdrop light also coming your way but what i would like to point out here backsplash you have another tiling and the same goes here in the shower because you have this funky squares that are embedded and some are exposed giving a great play of space and of course shower and all the fittings here by the way are from Villaroy and Boch apart from the master bedroom we'll come to that and all the explanation later because now we have bedroom number two to look at going through this little gallery wall into bedroom number two all right bedroom number two is once again generous in size and maybe patrick from that angle if you see we are talking about at least three meters of ceiling height i won't reach oh we're talking about three meters of ceiling height so forget the word claustrophobic in this house it's non-existent again shuko windows displaying the back side of the house the entry basically and this embedded in a nice niche once again is plasma number four, four. patrick hold your horses what i didn't explain decton tiling i'll come to that later but right now let's check out this bathroom and be amazed you ready okay let's go let's go there is decton tiling everywhere in this bathroom now i'm going to take this away get a good look at this patrick this is decton tiling we have it throughout the entire house but particularly in this bathroom we have it on the walls and on the floor i'm gonna hang the towel on again look at it decton tiling here once again and one <laughs> From the other property tools that we've done when we see uh, fittings as such turning knobs we always say they're from a ufo spaceships but anyways patrick deck tone is everywhere in this bathroom what do you think about it guys let us know in the comment section i like it it's very dominant but it's a pleasant domination does that make sense <laughs> pleasant domination now let's continue we are gonna go to the first floor but before we do kitchen but before we do patrick look at this cupboard spaces we know that there's quite a lot of cupboard spaces here they don't slide they open as such but here we also have the guest toilet powder room powder room look at it fantastic and from the guest toilet this is just a guest toilet it looks nicer than my entire apartment all right and now it's time to show you this kitchen which is again a beautiful dance barn made kitchen ladies and gentlemen welcome So from there you can see Patrick they went for the deck tone here again in this kitchen island but in this one it's white great contrast and now Patrick turn around a little bit because I would like to focus on this entire section which is where your meal appliances are stored here for instance we have a double fridge meal oven coffee machine a lot of covered spaces here oh this one has mess inside <laughs> and here patrick 
really cool how you can just push these shelvings in everything in this kitchen remains minimalistic and of course a freezer there and from where you're standing patrick you can look at the white kitchen island i mentioned before you also have the miele induction right here and this great device subtractor. subtractor now let's see if it works because sometimes i press the button and it doesn't want to behave patrick can you try and do it Okay, and you need to hold it. Now look, it's like a spaceship about to take off. This is your subtraction device, correct? Yep. Now, as this is going up, Patrick, let's turn around because again, this kitchen is light lit due to the window that you can also open up, but you also get to see the garden and nature that unfolds outside. I'm gonna put this off and from here, this is the deck tone I was talking about. We will be able to see it more later. We have two sinks, again, a picture window looking out, more cupboard spaces here. Your cupboard spaces, as I explained, in this white gloss that goes well with the deck tone tiling. This entire kitchen is not only utile, but it's also minimalistic and clean and good looking. I like it. Now, Patrick, I think we should start to go upstairs. Just for reference points, this is the dining area we have already seen, and now it's time to take you guys upstairs. All right, we're back in the captivating entrance of the house, and we're gonna be taking this iron staircase up to the first landing. And from here, I would like to point out how this Stunning chandelier is dangling down from the double height ceiling that we have here and it just really helps to understand what sort of depth we have in this entire area. And from here, right up front, the main bedroom. Let's check it out. Wow, you've seen it in the detail shots, ladies and gentlemen, this is elegance and the perfect explanation of what an elegant main bedroom should look like. You have your bed console here in the heart of the room and you are looking out to the view that you have seen in the detail shots. Now, furthermore, what you have here is also an omnidirectional fireplace, more really funky wallpaper and this master bathroom let's have a look at it i have not seen a bathroom like this before now let's focus on the the phone the phone the phone and the phone it's actually italian from florence it's such an elegant bathtub and it's also just where the omnidirectional fireplace is Wow, you have PYK here, stone plastered on the walls. And Patrick, let's take a good focus on these two sinks that we have here, the, the, the vanities. They are just a sheer elegance and class, huh? Have you seen something like this before in any of the homes? No. No, me neither. And of course, you have a shower, Patrick. Come check it out. Shower, oh, this really big shower head and nice tiling again. Great, and the toilet to the left. Let's continue out of this really unique master bathroom. Let's go. Not to forget pocketing, sliding doors, perfect. Now I would like to quickly show you the walk-in closet here for him and her on both sides with a little powder room section right here everything you need is very well lit and of course a great place to hang your clothes let's have a quick look you have shelvings you have cupboards here everything that you need just what's missing is the clothes let's continue before we go outside this is tv number five let's continue now we are going to the terrace that's here covered and part of the master bedroom
you're gonna be enjoying such breathtaking views from the master but not only from there because this bedroom bedroom number two also has an access point out to this terrace and you can simply come and enjoy this good weather that we have in February 22 degrees I love it and now let's hover over to the other side and check out what that bedroom has as I was saying, all three bedrooms have an access point out to this terrace, like bedroom number three here. Here you could come out, enjoy the view, but also sit down, maybe have a coffee in the morning and simply take in the gorgeous views. And now let's hop back inside. Patrick, there's also parquet flooring in every bedroom in this house. Now let's continue to bedroom number two on this level. You've seen it in the detail shots, another generously sized bedroom and so well designed. Now what I really love, Patrick, is the wallpaper here. Once again, a big fan of wallpaper. And of course, everything just flows in the style. And right here, Rick get... Makes weird. Does it? Just like... But it's, 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 it, maybe it's static, that's what it is. Right here, Patrick, guess what we have? The door into a different dimension. This is here. Let's no, check it out. There. We have a walk-in closet. Once again, this is what differentiates the bedrooms from the ones downstairs that here we have this walk-in closet. Now I'm gonna quickly close it. I'm from here. Oh, Patrick. Number? Six. Number six, correct. And this is the bathroom. Look, once again, they've actually went for really funny tiling on the wall with these circles. Again, it's just, it's different. It really stands uh, out. Of, uh, this is a Villeroy and Boch bathtub. Seems to be the right size. Oh yeah. For me as well. You bet. I'm sure you could fit in there. Should we do a Patrick check? Okay. If you can fit in the bathroom? Let's do it. Ta-da, ta-da. Patrick, I think you, two of you can fit in there. All right, let's see him get out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I usually don't get in and out of that. Like that. All right, sweet. Well done, Patrick. If two of you would fit in here, I think three of me could fit in here easily. Now, again, we have a floating vanity sink with Villeroy and Boch fittings. Everything is superb. Now, from this bedroom, let's go to the other side to look at bedroom number three. Vamonos. Okay, now a lot of cupboards as well before your rooms and that's very clever in case you want to store shoes or jackets and from here Patrick wait You also have the iPad with the entire Domotic system you can control everything in this house and Patrick I keep saying Patrick 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 how cool are the light fittings in this house? Yeah, they're cool. Come on. We don't you don't get to oh, see yeah, this I, I, I prefer Light is okay, but this. The wallpaper in the framing it's here. Amazing. It's actually a frame. It's not, it's not wallpaper. Touch it. Is it wallpaper? Uh, it's wallpaper. But it's Maybe very. You should touch it so much more. It's very. It's a very nice design. And it's in its frame plastered onto the wall. Cool. And now, again, cupboards and bedroom number two. Patrick, come back. I would like to show something here. Ladies and gentlemen, this gallery of pictures which are hanging empty, but there is something I would like to point out, and it's this one right here. So if you guys like what we present, the properties we show you, and you think that we guys are acceptable, give us a thumbs up, because you could really support us in doing so. And now, bedroom. This is definitely a bedroom for your daughter. It has the characteristics of a 
children's room for a little princess as you can also see here with the little powder room and the pink seat super TV number seven right yes. I think it's number seven and the same applies here Patrick very quickly walk-in closet again and a little Maybe dollhouse should, um, tool this property as well. yeah this is gonna be our next one and Patrick do you see it has a slight pinkish wallpaper and again with these frames embedded into the wall just a continuation of design and style and this adorable bathroom let's have a look why do i say adorable because everything has a slight pink color to it as you can see a pinkish tonation the same big bathtub and a nice here artistic backsplashed wall here do you see it yeah with flowers and roses and little birds cool all right and of course your sink here with the same villaroy boch vanity and fittings that i spoke about it's a very cute bathroom let's continue come on don't forget give us a like guys support the Mara gang i'm gonna leave it here for you I wish I carry it around. So we're gonna go down the iron staircase with the marble that is black in contrast to the big, big, big tiles, Patrick. And now we're gonna have the perfect moment to show these tiles here. This is predominant in the entire house, except of the three bedrooms upstairs that have parquet flooring, the two bedrooms on this floor that have parquet, and of course the bedrooms downstairs. Now they're really big. Let's quickly give it a walkthrough. One, two, three, three and a half by one and a half. Three to one fifty. The decton tiles are throughout the entire house. Now it's gonna be my pleasure, drum roll. Patrick, actually, I said it before, I'm not too sure, but the echo here is so amazing. Should we give it a little sing? How you lose followers. I think we're gonna lose. Thank you. I think they get the point. Wow, thank you for that, Patrick. Let's head out. Wow. Now look at these two pillars holding the house together with recovered marble and you see that being put in a lot of places in the house. And I would just like to really point out the qualities in this house are extraordinary. And the house has been built by Atlas Group, a building company. As you can see, they've done qualitative work over the years and they have really outdone themselves with this one. So hey, Atlas Group, well done, well done. Now I would also like to say, this is the view you're gonna be enjoying. You do see Gibraltar in the niche just up front and the ocean, but Patrick's pointing the finger, he's saying, hey, barbecue, because yes, barbecue is a very important aspect and maybe even for you viewers, who like to fry up a steak or some vegetables, depending on what floats your boat. And now, here, your pergola, nice outdoor dining table, of course, an entire outdoor kitchen area. You have here, sunstone, barbecue, two of them, because one is not enough. Boom. Do some nice cooking. You've got your countertop island here with this view. Patrick, turn around so everyone understands what we're talking about. You'll be preparing and serving your guests with food whilst you're looking at all this magnificent and now i would like to quickly say we are in zagaleta zagaleta is probably the epidome of luxury it is one of the most secured 
and luxurious urbanizations, not only in Marbella, but in Spain, not only in Spain, but probably in entire Europe. Now at the gate, they will not let you in. You have to be welcomed. You need to show your passport. You need to be booked in. And like I said, welcome. So thank you so much for letting us be here. Be welcomed in Zagaleta. And that's about it. Let's go back inside, come on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the basement is very impressive and it's gonna be such a pleasure to show it to you guys. So stay tuned for it. Now, what's really cool, you wouldn't expect anything hidden behind this door, but there's a lot, the stack is going down. Let's look. Firstly, we have a storage room here. I'm not gonna show it. And the staircase going down. Stay tuned and be surprised. Okay, we are in the basement. We're gonna start off with your stuff bedroom. Let's have a look. Voila. This is, by the way, television number eight, right? Yep. It's eight now. There's also a separate door entrance to this guest apartment or staff compartment with a little kitchenette right here. Neff appliances, countertop storage, shelving, everything you need. And Patrick, again, we're in the basement. We have really high ceiling height. And of course, natural light from the window above and a toilet shower that you'll see in the detail shots now. Okay, and from here, what a fantastic addition, right? This, by the way, as I said before, that's the door. You have a separate entrance. You can go in and out. Makes this very more independent. Now, Patrick, a lot of covered spaces. And here, if you actually come just closer, we're gonna have a quick look together into this. This is your laundry room. This looks like this is to iron, it looks like an iron car. But you get what I mean, there's a lot of room to do your laundry which you need to have in a house which has seven bedrooms. And before we enter this, this is by far my most favorable room in the entire house. What do you think, Patrick? Uh, I like watching movies, so yes. It's a cinema. You're very energetic today, I love it. Let's go. cinema room, hidden LED strips behind the sound absorbing here, fabric wall, a completely 4K screening system. And Patrick, I don't know if you'll get it, but I pray you do. You have a ceiling with stars and of course LED strips that play with the colors depending on what movie you're watching or what the atmosphere of the movie is. And here, you come, ah, uh, you sit down and you really feel like you're in a cinema. And I think that is exactly what you expect in a real cinema room. Now I got some uh, comments in the last house we toured, there was a TV. There was a TV in a room and I called it TV room. But okay, I'm sorry, this is a TV room. All right, this is a, cinema room. a serious cinema room, exactly. What's the TV room? What, cinema room, TV room? I think it's like the same, no? No, oh, because this has a screen. Ah. This is a cinema room. Ah, it's such a nice room though. I would spend most of my days here. Let's continue, shall we? Yeah. Now, we have an entire spa section. Let's look at it together. Now, you have a division. You have the leisure area right up front and you have the gym area right here. A little techno gym workout section, heated swimming pool. There, a jacuzzi, hammam, 
another shower, toilet, you've got a lot of things. And which is really interesting, when you are in rooms as such, you hear there's very little echo because you have coffered ceilings here which absorb most of the sound. Now let's continue. Come on, follow me. Nice little gallery path. At the far end, we're gonna show you the last bedroom, bedroom number seven, which is right here. And then we're gonna look at the spa again. Right, another generously sized bedroom, a continuation of style and design. And please note, this is the basement. It's under the earth, yet you have natural light coming from your English patio, which also has a staircase leading up to the barbecue area. So whoever is resident here can also communicate through this staircase, come in and out. Fantastic, Patrick. Plasma number? Nine. Eight or nine? Plasma? Nine. Plasma number nine. Plasma number nine. And this toilet, shower, bathroom. Now you have the same tiling as I mentioned before in the bathroom upstairs. And this one actually have this ripple effect. Can you see it on camera, Patrick? Yep. It's ripply. Super elegant, exclusively looking, and everything you need. And of course, Patrick's pointing out there is a shower in a shower. Cool, let's continue. Now I would like to put the focus on to the hammam and spa area a little bit more. Let's go. Okay, Patrick, come back in because we're going to add to our plasma account in the spa section that is again so elegant. We have, yeah, we forgot this one, which is number 10 and number 11. So you will always be entertained here, but it, this is really a great, space and Patrick this massive marble piece that is also illuminated in the backdrop just adds to this entire vibe of the spa section here okay last but not least ladies and gentlemen we also have the hammam really cool hammam hammam I prefer probably hammams because it's it's more humid. Saunas are a bit too dry in my taste. But okay, what about you? Ah, sauna. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Then I'm his brother. Ooh. All right, gallery wall here, not to forget. And now it's time for the garage. So let's have a look. For reference points, these are the stairs that we came down from and are also the ones that lead back to the kitchen. Now, this is the garage. As I said, you have space for at least four cars, your dirt bikes or whatever you need. You also have three rooms that serve as storage rooms. And now, Patrick, come with me outside because I would like to explain real quick that here you also have a lot of space to park. The door that I'm not gonna be showing you, but it leads to the guest apartment or service apartment. And this is the drive-in that I explained at the beginning. That comes all the way down here from where you then park your car in your garage. And from here, Patrick, where are you going? Okay, cool. I'm very happy to show that part. Everything here is very landscaped. The garden is taken care of, as you can see and you have this entire section which is to the left of the house if you're looking at it frontal which is this enormous flat garden section now i would put a volleyball court up here because i love playing volleyball there's a lot of space that you can still make use of right patrick and from here you get the look at the house that we have just shown you guys so let's go back up here nice how you have these stepping stones here a lot of greenery and landscape garden part of the 5500 square meters of the plot and of course from here i'm gonna say ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna lean on ladies and gentlemen 
thank you so much for watching another Mara Brothers production. All the information about this house is listed in the description box below. It's been such a pleasure to show you this home. And yeah, off to the next one, right? Let's go. Oh.